Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us here on King Jordan Radio. It is Friday, April 18th, 2014, and today we're scheduled to have a famous guest by the name of Adina Howard. And uh, we are waiting for Adina to check in. Um, we have a lot of numbers out there. Let's see if she checked in. Uh, Miss Adina Howard, are you with us? I am. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm blessed. How are you? No, no, it I'm really, really isn't. Wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, another person that I want to ask you about uh, is the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. Well, what was your uh, impressions of Michael Jackson, the singer, who passed away in June 2009? Man, I grew up with little Michael, and, <laughs> you know, it, it was just one of those things. I remember, because I'm originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I remember oh. the Jackson 5s coming through Michigan, and I believe they were coming through Grand Rapids, and I remember an article being in our local newspaper, and I cut the article out, and I put the article under my pillow with the hopes that if I put the article under my pillow, I would either be able to go to the concert or he would show up at my door and love on me. Needless to say, neither one of those things happened, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I had the eight tracks, which tells you how, how young I am, but I had the eight <laughs> tracks, I had the set. I had the posters. I was... Um, how you feel? Isn't huh? that true? It's not how oh, yeah. old you are, how you feel, how you look, you how go. you feel. Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. But I was a huge, huge fan. And, you know, it was really sad that, you know, Any the song of event that took place to his life. Any, oh, my gosh. There's so many songs. <laughs> There's so yeah, many songs. Uh, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm from ja I, I started with Jackson Five. So right. when you talk about Jackson Five to to Michael Jackson's, you know, Solo. last project, it, it, right. it's I, I mean it's ridiculous. Dirty Diana is one of my favorites. Oh, wow. um, let's see. Say, 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 which, you know, one of my songs is one of my favorites with, that he did with Paul oh, McCartney. Okay. The Girl is Mine, by, you know, that he did with Paul McCartney is one of my favorites. So, I mean, literally, get, there's with his Slam? discography. Is, which, did you get a remix in 208 that he did with Well, I Am? Um, did I? I'm not quite sure. I don't think so. Yeah. Because when they the came out with the remixes first. after he passed away... Was it the remix after he passed away or before he passed away? This is, yeah, a year before he passed. It was a 25th anniversary special, and Will I Am and Kanye did some cuts, uh, uh, and Akon did uh, Wanna Be Starting Something by himself, but no, Michael and Will I Am yeah. did uh, The Girl Is Mine. Really sounded neat. <laughs> no, well, I'm going to have to Google it and listen to it because I didn't hear that one. I like, you know, I'm. I like his, you know, his old, his older stuff, his classics. Rock with you. You know it. <laughs> you know it. I have actually. I have um, off the wall. It, uh, downloaded in my computer. So. Right. Oh yeah. And it's actually and it's in my video, phone too. The videos he always made were like movies. That's what people uh, also liked. Like, you see, remember the time? You got uh, mm -hmm. Matt Johnson in there, Eddie, Mur Ed Eddie Murphy, uh, that princess. You know, it's a whole story that he's telling. So it, it was co really cool, you know. He MJ. was just a very unique artist. He was a very unique artist, very talented, you know, yes. gifted individual. And, again, it's sad that, you know, the turn of events, took his life because, you know, he had his vices. And and at the end of the day, your body can only take so much. 
And once it's gotten to that breaking point, you know, it is what it is. But again, yeah. I'm grateful that I was able to be a witness to, you know, one of the greatest that ever lived. You could imagine, though, if you're Michael Jackson and the mean press who needs stories every day are constantly picturing you, misquoting you, and saying that. I, I'm sure you had that yourself, but Michael Jackson, who's top three of all time, I'm sure had a lot of suffering through that because they said a lot of nasty things that were not true at all or, or over-exaggerated. Yeah, I, I'm sure that it took a toll on them. The it, it really does. It really, really does. Because the one thing that I've learned um, is people have expectations, and they have expectations of everyone, be it, you know, a celebrity, their parents, their siblings, you know, their coworkers, their boss, whomever. And sometimes the expectations are unrealistic. And the one thing that I always say is expectations ruin relationships, you know, because they tend to set the expectation high. And, you know, when they can't meet that expectation, then there's a disappointment that steps in. So it's one of those things that we need to just allow people to be human and allow them to be their perfect and perfect selves. And, and recognize that, you know what, we all are not going to meet expectation. So get over it. And regardless of who that celebrity is, they're still human. They still bleed, you know, and you can't expect them to be some superhuman because you see them singing and dancing and whatever else they do. No question. No question about it.